There she is. I'm going to rub it in case it's a key nit bait. So, you're going to break out the holy one. social media and we just started hitting off a friendship and he invited me up to come up to do some detecting. So where are we going to do me detecting today? We're going to go down to my uh, hometown of Rockwood. So we've got several houses down there that we're going to detect and then uh, in behind our library there's a couple of uh, empty lots where the houses uh, were. They were yeah. the early 1900 houses that they tore down and we're going to detect. And we're going to hit possibly the lake, a yeah. dried up or, or a, a letting the water area. out swim right. area. And who knows what else? Right. Whatever the wind blows, we're going to do it. So hopefully, we're going to find some good stuff. And we get there, we'll turn the camera on, and we'll show it to you guys. So, till then, sit back, enjoy the show. All right, we're out on our first location today. It's going to be a vacant lot, and there's two houses, kind of like what's across the street. Two houses used to sit here, so we're going to see what we can find here. All right, going to be hunting with my Equinox today, and we're going to just be in multiple frequency we're going to be in park one we're going to leave everything as it is we're going to go check the return speed and we're going to start out at five and uh, let's uh, put the sensitivity at 20. all right we're ready to go here about 30 minutes I think Tony is somewhere in the back I can't see in the camera in my sun glare but I got my first good target right here I uh, just popped it up it looks like a Victorian period something it's a pretty deep I'm right out here on the curb strip and uh, I don't know let me clean this up let's see what this is Maybe something off of a door pull or a drawer. I'm not sure. I like this Victorian period stuff though. It, uh, no, it's going to be a brooch. Yeah. I can see the pin right on the back right there. I might have hit it with my shovel. Doggone it right on the corner. You start digging so much trash, you kind of get careless. And um, so black soil, I love stuff that comes out of the black soil. It just looks so good. I'm ready for the, a silver coin to come out of the black soil. All right. It's going to be a brooch. See the pen? It's going to be a brooch. Nice. Let's see if I can put it this way. You can see a little bit better. A little sunlight on it. 
So that'd be nice. Let's get a picture. Let's keep swinging. See if we can't find some silver. Tony just came up and he found a little lead toy hand. Must have come off of a lead toy doll or something. Yeah, that's old. That's at least 1930s here, if not older. So there's stuff out here. We just got to keep swinging. I'm getting an 18 signal. That's going to be top of a coin purse. The fabric part down here on the bottom rusted it out. I checked the hole. There's no coins in there. But that's a neat little decorative coin purse. So we'll set it up there. We'll get a picture and keep on rolling. Well, we moved on from that other lot, which is just kind of across the street over there to my back. And we came up to this little house right here. And uh, I'm out in the front yard. And I was getting a solid 10 signal. I'm thinking gold ring, so I don't know what it is. I popped it up. It is a ring. But let's see what it is. I don't think it's going to be gold. I think it's just going to be stainless steel. Yeah. It's going to be a stainless steel ring. They ring up like a gold low like that. Yeah. Hey, I'll take it. I haven't been finding nothing but Wheaties. So. Got a ring in the yard. Well, I was getting a four on my Equinox and uh, dug up this little baby spoon. It's stainless steel. There's no marking on it. But uh, sure is pretty. I wish it was solid silver. All right, I'm on the other side of the sidewalk out here in the front yard, so let's keep digging, see if we can't find us a silver coin. That's what I'm in the hunt for. Well, we got a presidential Dwight D. Eisenhower presidential token. Uh, Tony dug this up over by this house and uh, gave it to me. I'm going to put it with my presidential tokens. Very nice of him to do that. This is a nice one, too. I've got a few of them, a little older ones, quarter size, but I don't have the big size like this. All right, let's keep digging. Let's see what we can get. What do you think? Go at it. Well, we decided to take a break from the houses and come out here to this lake. We didn't find anything up on the, uh, the beach, so I went and got my boots on. Started wading out here in the water, and it's getting a 61, and it looks like a copper just a fake stone so that's a good sign that there's rings in here so I can go out a little bit further and see if we can't get a, another good ring so let's keep going well it definitely paid to put my boots on and come out that's one little ring and here is that old saying God give me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change and courage to change the things I can and wisdom to know the difference it's a thick dog tag, too. Look how thick that is. Bring it up like a 50, 52. So, let's get a picture. And let's keep on going. Finally. Check that out. Big silver ring. Don't you wish that stone was real? I doubt if it is, but it is a 925 ring, though. So, it's lightning. So I don't have much time. I better keep swinging, see what else we can get before the rain comes in. Well, we're starting the day number two. We uh, went to a church and hit some vacant lots, didn't find anything there. Moved on over here to an older house. I'll show you the house here. It's a two-story. It's got a little yard in it. I found a 1914 Weedy, and now I just got a 1213 signal, and I think it's a Buffalo Nickel. Let's look at it together. Yeah, so we're getting into the Buffaloes, and it's going to be in good shape. We might get a date off of this one. Yeah, 1935. It's in great shape. Normally, you don't get dates off of Buffalo Nickels. That one's in good shape. All right, there's got to be a, uh, a barber out here or a Merc, early Merc. So let's keep looking.
just brought this over to me. It says G. Kirkland, and it looks like it's going to be a military name tag. Still has the pins on the back of it. That is neat. Good find, brother. Thank you. Yeah. Check with the something over there. Let's keep swinging and see what else we can get. This is four inches deep at 30 inch 30. So let's live dig this one. See what we come up with. My marker there. Little gravel down here. Lots of gravel. Yeah. Okay, well, that's what you get for live digging. It's just going to be a regular clad quarter. Let's keep going. Well, we're back out here on my last day, and we're going to go hit the lakes this afternoon. But we decided to hit this one little house and a couple of little more before we go out there, let the temperature rise. A little bit it's pretty cold this morning and uh, literally this is my second target and it was only two inches deep popped it up and it's gonna be a barber dime I believe I haven't looked at it yet I haven't cleaned it up so let's look at it together there she is so I don't want to rub it in case it's a key mint date so we're going to break out the holy water all right let's see what this is gonna be One dime, we're gonna play the one dime game. Is it gonna be Barber? Let's hope it's seated. Let's hope it's seated. Nope, she's a Barber. Gonna be a 1898, 1898 Barber. And you've never dug a Barber. <laughs> I've never dug a Barber. And I get over here on your territory <laughs> And I dig the first barber out. Second hour. target. Second target today. <laughs> hey. That's okay. Is that That's gonna right. be a good sign for us today? Absolutely. I hope so. I like that. If we're gonna dig a silver, let's at least dig us some old silvers. Ah. I don't see no mint date on it. Keep no mint. 19, 1898 plain. Is so it? you can't beat that. No, sir. First coin of the day. Get out of the sun here, Claire. And we'll uh, see what else we can get in here. Maybe there's some more. There's one, there's gotta be two. Let's go see what we find all right we're gonna call it a a week it's been a great four days up here with uh tony i appreciate you having me up tony and uh taking me out to all your secret spots and everything else we didn't find everything we wanted to find but we found some good stuff uh anyway and uh but i appreciate you bringing me up very much and so we got our finds laid out let's spin you around let me show you what we found all right, there's all the trash. Boy, did we dig the trash. Look at all that. That's what you dig in all those house sites. Just tons and tons of, of trash. Even a calculator, a radiator cap, and old cars, and just junk. Just tons of junk. But you got to dig all of that to get this stuff over here. And here we go. This is uh, Tony's stuff. He got, this is not everything he found, but uh, most of it. He got him a toy gun. He got him a quarter two dimes a nickel and i know you dug more than six pennies <laughs> we dug yeah. a lot more than that it's just not everything's out he did get a real nice uh g kirkland he's gonna investigate that uh, the military name tag that's a nice find and then he also got a dwight d eisenhower um token about the size of a half dollar that he donated to me to put in my collection so we're going to put that in the presidential token collection so he got some good finds. And here's all mine. I got three toy cars. And I got uh, a baby spoon. It looks silver, but it rang up stainless. I think it's just stainless steel. It's not silver. A uh, coin pow uh, purse, pouch. No coins in it, of course. And then we got this uh, early Victorian brooch. That'll clean up nice. And then we got some type of buckle here. It's not, I think it's aluminum. It's not silver. I dug a lot of clad. We got one, two, three, four, five dollars and quarters. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty dimes. We 
we got uh, four nickels and then we got 42 pennies and what was hard is that these pennies were ringing up up here as, as like a dime a 20 5 26 and it was throwing us off so we were digging a lot of pennies ended up getting 11 wheaties my oldest wheatie is a 1910 just one shy year shy of that indian head i got a 1935 buffalo nickel and i got a 1898 barber dime no mint mark got a couple of uh we went to the lake and got a couple of earrings and got this nice serenity prayer dog tag and very thick look how thick that is very heavy duty i got one junk copper ring one stainless steel ring and then i got another copper ring with a cz and then a silver ring with a cz so that and my barber dime be my two best finds for the trip we hit a lake today but we struck out didn't find any rings whatsoever here's all the trash and here's all the treasure and like i always say the greatest treasure isn't what you can come up to tennessee and hunt up with a new friend and find and lay out on your tailgate the greatest treasure what can be found up in heaven keep searching keep looking up until we meet again i just wish everybody happy hunting and god bless mm -hmm.